Basket here. Welcome back. Welcome to the uh, Monumento. Minute Monumenta. It's a CTM MMO. A currently enclosed beta. Um, also, I forgot to turn on chat for everybody. There we go. There's chats. There's also I'm also streaming this right now. Um, and so it's enclosed beta, and so I'm sort of playing it, have fun, but then also find things that are bugs or things that need to be tweaked a little bit. So welcome everybody that's uh, watching me stream. And let's sort of walk around. Um, so there's a side path there, and then main signs here. Whoa, Monumenta. <laughs> Prologue, okay. This is a small tutorial uh, dungeon. Um, items and levels gotten here will not carry over into the main... Okay, interesting. So this is just sort of a, kind of how things work. All right. So this is, a, I guess, my own little instance of a intro thing. Interesting. Um, so I'm low on supplies. Let's get my bar ready. Oh, I guess I do have regular food. And I have been playing Untold quite a bit, so I'll have to get used to uh, to this <laughs> a little bit. Um, the uh, I, I, I've So far, I've been doing... Let's see. Torches will slow down spawners. Okay, so I'm guessing a lot of this tutorial I will already know about. But, um, but that's okay, because uh, it's still good practice for... Okay, so this is a, a different way. Is there secrets over here? Or is this just nothing? So I'm gonna explore around a little bit. I'm kind of expecting there'll be something over here saying like sometimes there's secrets in other areas. Or there's nothing here. That could be too. Uh, but yeah, so I just got into the closed beta for this. Um, it's pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, this looks like nothing. Okay, well, let's grab this gravel that we won't get to keep anyway. So now we have some blocks that we can use to get, um, thank you for the tweet, JJ Bonzi. Uh, so in this one, I can't sprint a lot. I've been playing uh, untold stories where I can sprint quite a bit. Um, lights will slow down, slow them down, but breaking them will guarantee that they make it safer. That's true. And I, I don't probably want to set up a spawner XP grinder inside of a tutorial. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and break it. And then I can actually take some of these torches back. Um, it's interesting that chat shows up inside of this. It seems like it would make sense to not have chat in the uh, tutorial thing. It might confuse people, I don't know. Um, but I guess break this one, I guess. Welcome, Sky. My fingers are crossed that you'll make it into the big... Yeah. Yeah, I think partly what helped is that I've played a lot of MMOs and CTMs. Um, so. Alright, what do we have? So there's a down area down there. There's probably a spawner below me. With spiders, possibly, or it was natural spawn. It's hard to say. I feel like that our natural spawns aren't turned on here. It's probably mushroom biome. If I had to guess, because the there wasn't, there hasn't been any other spawns around. There's a creeper spawner next to me. Okay, it's not active yet. Cool. Oh, okay, it's zombie spawner. I lied. Um, yeah, this is probably a mushroom biome because uh, there's no natural spawns. It seems. Uh, thank you for the follow. Did that notification go off and I didn't notice it? Thank you for the follow. Uh, non uh, exo, exo gamer. Let's see, I'm expecting more spawners around there. Um, yeah, this is just a tutorial level, so I don't need to be as thorough as I might be. So there's a loot over there with a creeper spawner on top of it. And they're prime spawners, I think. Yep, prime spawners. So as soon as they activate... Um, as soon as you get near it, they do spit out a mob, so I can't just run in, necessarily. And, yeah, I think we're in Mushroom Biome, so I don't have to worry about natural spawns, because this area might be uh, pretty bad if it was, um, you know, just regular. So, no other spawners in here, and then this thing's pretty well lit up already, but we'll go ahead and take that out. This could be a trap. Okay, because there's a torch on that, but it's since it's just a tutorial, because this is powering this, so if I broke that... This might cause an update and other stuff, but I guess we're okay. So I have some gear and a note that I will look at that in a second. We'll put this stuff on. And so the new paper I just got, which I can't read, I uh, use bows to weaken enemies before getting close. Uh, and I did get some arrows from that. Okay. So there, there's a ladder over here. Actually, no, that doesn't go anywhere, okay. I think it's just the design. Yeah, okay. So let's go check over here. Here's some coal. Awesome. 
Oh, I didn't see this guy here. Then that, when I was watching the other stuff, it seemed like there was some lag, but it looks like they've fixed it up pretty well. That guy just dropped uh, some food. Zombie meat, which is actually just rabbit flesh. Interesting. Alright, so I will go ahead and... I have a pick, so I will go ahead and dig out some of these. Um, I don't know... Actually, do I have... I don't have any wood right now, but I guess there's probably wood around. Yeah, there's some, there's some different wood over there by the bookcases, I think. Um, I don't know how long this tutorial is, so... This may, this may be overkill, but I'll grab some, some coal just in case. And otherwise we can come back for the rest. Alright, that's good for now. Let's grab some of these logs. Oh, I have a, I have an axe. Okay, there's a little bit of lag, yeah. A, I was expecting there to be a tiny bit. Alright, so it goes down there, interesting. Uh, but yeah, so this map is a, it's an MMO CTM. Um, so there's going to be some elements of both. There is wolves you can get, and then different classes and stuff you can pick, which seem seem pretty cool. So you could be... So those feel like natural spawns to me, so I think this is leaving the mushroom biome. So there'll be more natural spawns now. Uh, which I can actually kill. Oh god, that's not what I want to do at all. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so I don't get my stuff back, which is probably good. It's realistic. Let's see what the uh, situation is like over there. I accidentally shifted off of that. My bad. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying before I fell and <laughs> died. Uh, yeah, so there's going to be... Oh, there's different classes and stuff. Does that track anywhere? First death? I don't know. Okay, so here's some spawners. Uh, we're going to grab our stuff and we can't leave, so we're going to just do this. Uh, panicking. Okay. <laughs> Let's gather our things. I am spawning in bad guys as I sit here, so I can't spend too long. But I'm glad that I didn't get to keep my stuff. That's not very realistic if I did. Yeah, alright. Um, so we'll go like that, and that's good. So what's, what's, what's happening over here? There's a creeper. I kind of want to knock him down, if I can pull it off. There's, uh, there's a creeper and a zombie spawner. You want to come over here so I can knock you down? I want to knock you down. Backwards. Go. They'll probably spawn in an... Oh, it's some more. Yep. I didn't mean to fall. That wasn't on purpose. <laughs> in case you're wondering. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> All right. Pick. You can do it. All right. Good. Yes, so good. Um, and then this is probably nothing, but again, I don't trust any anything. That could be a secret thing back here. No, okay, probably not. All right, so what's down in the next level? A zombie I hit down, and then lava. And this time, let's not fall off, I think. That might be a cool idea. The ladders don't go all the way down, exactly. So I'll we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, baby zombie. I definitely don't want to deal with him right now. Okay. Zombie spawner. Okay, good. Safeway. <laughs> um, of course, you didn't mean to fall. Yeah, right. Right, yeah. Yeah, so that, yeah, yeah, the other thing is that Scotty and I are probably going to... That one's a trap chest. Scotty and I are going to be playing on this server. Um... At some point, I don't know if he's in the, in this beta or not. Um, so I have to still figure out like for the wolves if I want to like only do the wolves with him. There we go. I figure that was around here. Um, or if I want like because there's like side quests and then the wolves and then, like player housing and all those other things. So I have to figure out like a balance between um, like doing things on my own. Oh, this is the other side of the okay. I guess I will eat. 
Um, so I have to figure out a balance between playing with Scody and like doing my own adventuring. At the very least, I'll be, I'm, I'm planning on streaming this. Um, uh, streaming this on uh, my lunch break, so I, that, that I won't be able to do with him. Uh, this one's a uh, trap chest. I don't know if they'll throw in... Can you eat clownfish? Kind of. <laughs> they don't get very much. Um, I think I heard you need teams to unlock some of the dungeons. Okay, there we go. So this is a trap chest. Um, so let's, let's play cautious. Yeah, there's a thing behind it. Um, so let's take a peek. Yeah, redstone torch. So it's reverse lighting of that, so there's something behind that. So let's get around there. Three players have unlocked wool dungeons. Oh, three players to unlock wool dungeons. Aha. Well, there you go. So this guy is lighting up. So it's a redstone torch that goes, torch ladder that goes up to there. And then goes to there, which is a command block that I can't open up. And then this is a trap with nothing inside of it. Interesting. Why is there nothing inside of it? <laughs> okay, well, let's, uh, let's activate it then. And then we can find out what the command block says. Because that would, would dispense something. A uh, trap! Um, I should be more careful next time. I was careful. <laughs> but yeah, so it would have clicked, but nothing would have happened in this case. Okay. Because there was nothing inside that? Unless it was it actually put it in after I did it. Who knows? Okay. Where are we? So there is a thing over there. Uh, two spawners there and there. Spawner there and there. They're all primed, most likely. There's a spawner right there and there. So I guess let's deal with those first. So we want to get over there, light it up, and then kind of retreat a little bit. Let some of the stuff, because they're, they're all prime spawners on this map, um, it looks like. So what we want to do is um, we want to... That was weird. Oh, dear. Leg. <laughs> um, we want to um, get get them to, to activate first. And then, then we can run in and beat them up. So we activate, uh, put down some torches. So that one's already activated once. Uh, we'll see if we're in range of the next thing, of the next set. Okay, good. And then we're still good. So now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Yeah, a little warning trap. Yeah, this is a tutorial to let you know about kind of how the maps work, but I've played them a bunch. But this is good to practice. Um, not, not necessarily for me, but for... Like, making sure that it makes sense to me. But I already saw it was a... That one is actually a more obvious uh, trap. What I want to do is activate both of these spawners. There we go. And then fall back. Because um, the usually in these maps, the trap chests wouldn't really be trap chests, like with the little indicator. They would be... Uh, there we go. They'd be... Um, like just a regular chest that would do a block update, like they drop down wool or uh, wool, uh, gravel or something. All right, where did that creeper go? Uh, he might be behind it, possibly. I'll just uh, I'll just run down there. So there's an unaccounted for creeper. I don't know where he went. Okay, well I'll just take out the spawner and try to watch around. Please don't blow me up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the creeper went. The, he didn't... That one spawned. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Let's eat some... Oh, I'm out of clownfish. Let's, oh, we have bread now. Let's eat some uh, of these guys. Okay, so there's two spawners there. Spider and, and skeleton. I think there is something over here. Oh, no. I guess not. Okay. So we want to activate those and then fall back. We have, this might be the end of the tutorial, possibly. Um, so we don't need to be quite as, oh, there's, there's that creeper. I knew he was right here somewhere. We don't have a shield yet. So with the skeleton coming up, we'll have to, 
you know, account for that. But let's get up there and actually just throw down some torches. Torch spam, and then run away. He doesn't see me anyway, I guess. Okay. Where do you go? <laughs> Alright, well, let's take out, let's take these out, and then if he comes back, we can deal with them. Yeah, I guess he's not around, I don't know. Oh, there's a, a big pit down below. Okay. So that chest is probably not trapped. We got it. We just got an achievement thing, some sort of thing. I don't know what we need it for. I don't need seeds. And all. Actually, yeah, I kind of want these for blocks. Okay. So I guess next step. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't block with my sword. <laughs> <laughs> Storyline. Okay, I'm, I'm in a new spot. So what happened? Ha! I nearly expected someone would beat me here. Now hand over the crystal or die. On second thought, just uh, killing you either way is a best option. Good luck, adventurer. So that was the end of the tutorial when I grabbed the quest item out, I guess. Or when I closed the chest. It activated the uh, the end of the, the thing. Okay, so now we're in the actual game. That was tutorial. That's how you play Minecraft.